You want to move your cursor. Like all information you can perceive or imagine, the intent to move a computer cursor is represented in your brain. Your brain is composed of nearly 100 billion cells called neurons. Neurons come in many complex shapes, but generally they have a dendritic arbor, a cell body called a soma, and an axon. The neurons of your brain connect to form a large network through axon-dendrite junctions called synapses. At these connection points, neurons communicate with each other using chemical signals called neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are released from the end of an axon in response to an electrical spike called an action potential. When a cell receives enough of the right kind of neurotransmitter input, a chain reaction is triggered that causes an action potential to fire, and the neuron to in turn relay messages to its own downstream synapses. Action potentials produce an electric field that spreads from the neuron and can be detected by placing electrodes nearby, allowing recording of the information represented by a neuron. Information about everything from movement, to vision, to hearing, to hunger, to dreaming during sleep, everything you can experience can be found by recording these electrical signals in different areas of the brain. Information about moving your cursor can be found in a number of brain areas, including the primary motor cortex, or M1. When the cursor is moved up, some neurons in M1 will fire a lot, some will fire a little, and others will be silent, and vice versa if the cursor is moved down. In other brain areas, relevant information is represented in more complex ways, which can be learned with more sophisticated models. Through these relationships, we can begin to decode the communication signals in the brain. And by recording enough neurons, movement intent can be elucidated with higher fidelity.